My name is Carter and I'm the Fighter Ranger. This is what I do, it's my full time job. I uh, do fights for uh, everyone. Well, not everyone, but I know a lot of people. I've been doing it for 22 years, so I do a lot. I've done, I don't know, 10 years on Tiger, 15 years on River City, 11 features. Um, I know Fraser though from uh, kind of making uh, short films and stuff. Uh, Fraser's kind of He's made a lot of stuff in the past, so you can't you can't not notice that Fraser's about because he's produced so much stuff. And I've done less than him, but we're just aware of each other. And filmmakers tend to support other filmmakers in Scotland anyway, so that's kind of why I'm here. Amazing. Um, so, how long have you been have you been involved in Cops and Monsters sort of full time? Or? Well, I've been involved in Cops and Monsters in the sense that I knew Fraser was doing it. But he, uh, he asked my help, I think, two or three episodes ago when I came in and did a little bit of uh, fighting on something, which I don't remember at this moment, but he did some fights on one thing and then he had me in on the Sophie Aldred episode as well and did a little bit of fighting there. And then he wanted to make the fight a bit more in this particular episode, so he's given me a, a long time warning that this was coming. And uh, I had a rehearsal yesterday for it and then we just came in and shot today on this one. I trained in swords um, at Queen Market College, um, was swords and stage combat, um, and I continued working on swords for, for about seven years. Um, but uh, to be honest, it's mostly what I would just refer to as stage combat that I do when it comes to um, the fights for film or television, because you really can't you can't be doing any particularly real stuff. If I need if I need expertise, I might bring it in if I've not got it myself, or I might try and cast people who've got that expertise. But really, what's coming into play when you're when you're directing fights on something is is camera angles, the ability of the actors you're working with, and health and safety stuff. And although fighting is part of what I do, I've got to consider all of that um, first of all. Yeah, yeah, no, I like I like working on Fraser stuff. It's all we all he always asks me to do some crazy thing. We'll get werewolves fighting today, and uh, no surprise there that Fraser's got something like that on the go. So now this this is cool because it's it's usually a little bit different from what I'm used to doing um, and I've got no problem with that. Today, um, well, as I say, yesterday we rehearsed what we were going to do today but the rehearsal um, involved us coming up with what we were going to be rehearsing so we, we, we worked with the actors to try and make something work with the script and uh, by the end of the rehearsal yesterday we had action that they would be doing and ways to do it safely and we had 12 specific shots we wanted to get to make the fight hold together. So today, um, Fraser blocked through the action of the whole scene. They shot about a page and a half of dialogue leading up to the fight, and then from that point onwards, I was calling the shots, um, working with the DOP and the rest of the team to try and patch together the fight with these 12 shots we discussed, altering them a little bit, maybe dumping one or two of them all together, and then just kind of hopefully getting the whole thing linked so that in the edit, we, we do something called shooting to edit, which means that I, I, we know what the edit will be when we shoot. It might not exactly work the way we're planning it, but it means there's no gaps, there's no problems, and because there's nothing worse than putting a scene together and then finding you've got like one second of it isn't there, and suddenly it jumps. So I just was leading that more or less with the DOP and just checking that Fraser was happy with it all along. Please like and subscribe um, and support uh, what Fraser's been doing here. He's, he's been working on this sort of stuff for years and years. He's getting better and better and he needs your support to keep making this stuff happen.